Hey everyone, Brooke Keeley here with Keeling Homes and I am touching on a topic today that has been a big uh, whirlwind in our industry and that is the ban of coming soon listings. So over the past few years, one of the biggest things that we've been able to really advocate and help our sellers with is promoting their listing before it goes live on the MLS or allowing sellers to kind of test the water of um, where there may be interest that lies before fully committing to going live on the market which is a bit of a luxury right because you're not committing to it and um, there's a lot of unknown fear of the unknown with sellers putting their home on the market right now with not having a place to go or if I can't get this price then it doesn't really make sense for me to list um, there's also a um, privacy factor that goes along with it not fully listing your home but being able to say okay if there's someone out there that has interest I don't have to commit um, publicly that I'm selling my home so there has been a, ba a ban not just in the Madison area but um, across the nation of not allowing coming soon listings to come on and what we've seen over the last couple of years and what um, we're trying to overcome with this rule uh, or the Realtors Association is trying to overcome with this rule is not um, being able to best serve our sellers with exposure so helping our inventory crisis right now we don't have any inventory and so there's been a lot of po pocket listings right so um, listings that maybe if you have a buyer but they're not going to go on the MLS so the big pool of buyers aren't going to see that listing which is a you know hurts buyers because they aren't seeing as many listings but also um, the whole thought around it is that it's not actually helping sellers either because not as many people are seeing their properties and so I think there's pluses and minuses to this um, you know one hopefully we can see a little bit more inventory coming to the market which is a positive for buyers more inventory coming on the market we're not going to be able to just do a, a pocket listing or an agent coming in and just being able to send it out to their database but the the negative to this on the seller side of things is that there is a full commitment of listing there is no trying to sell through the back door just having a pocket listing testing the waters so having to go on the MLS um, but still again being able to um, list with the, within your terms and having more people seeing it so as of right now one of the big things that we offered with our sellers over the last several years is a coming soon program where we really promoted properties a couple weeks up to listing it or being able to kind of test the waters for them as well and right now we're not going to be able to do that and it's not just us but it really is um, going to affect the entire nation in terms of what we can do with marketing a property that's not yet on the MLS. So that's a little bit about what is going on. If you are a seller, if you're hearing any of this verbiage, um, that's what, what is happening. We're trying to see the positive in some of this and we'll see if we have any changes coming up. But um, there's always uh, there's always, always the silver lining. So hopefully we see a bit more inventory coming on and um, we can have more happy buyers and sellers walking away and netting more money on their end as well. So evens the playing field a little bit more um, it, with that's that's our hope at least is that that's what's going to happen there. So that's a little bit of an update on our coming soon and what's going on in the real estate world. If you guys have any questions on selling in today's market of looking at what your options are, what your home value might be currently, it's very much a seller's market still. Um, or if you're a buyer looking in today's market and you're feeling like, I don't know if now is the right time, reach out to us. We're more than happy to have a conversation and let you know what's happening, what might be beneficial, and what's the best decisions for you and your family. So we hope to talk to you soon. If you have any real estate questions, always reach out. Thanks for tuning in.